African Americans, your people. You descend from the people that came off the ships. This is making it real to you. Give me the one where it's 46, 48. We're making it real to you. This only uh, pertains to us, all right? That's why the Bible is only for Israel. You'll never find any other nation that fits all these curses. Right. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 46. And, and 48. Therefore shalt thou serve thy enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee in hunger and in thirst and in nakedness. So for hunger, our people would have to serve our enemies. Who are the people that brought us over here? Bring it out. The who? All praises. You said it. I'm glad you ain't afraid to say it. So we're going to serve them for what? And in hunger. In hunger. Anywhere you want to go to get food, who owns that establishment? The white man, right? When you want to grow something, who you got to get your, your, uh, your, your, um, anything from all your, your pests, the seeds and everything. Fertilizer. Fertilizer. Who you get it from? The white man, right? What's next? And in thirst. And in thirst. Any beverage you think of, Pepsi, uh, Aquafina, whatever, even water, they all owned by the white man, all right? You cannot put a bucket outside your own house and collect rainwater. It's a fine. I'm serious, you can't do it. They're taxing the water. Bring it so out. So you can't even get water that falls from the sky for free. Right. Because he has that in all subjection. What's the next thing? And in nakedness. And in Hey, brothers, come over here real quick. Hey, brothers with the hat. Come over here real quick. I got to show y'all something. What'd you, what'd you find out? Come on. I gotta get back to the press. All right. All right, that's cool. Hey, look. All right, good. All right, so look, even in nakedness, any clothes any clothes you wear, Hanes, uh, your shoes, whatever, who owns these establishments? The, the white man, right? All right, then. And in want of all things. Anything you want. When you came into this world, your, your mom or, or your father had to sign a, a birth certificate, right? You gotta go to school, you gotta learn under them. Anything you want, a death certificate, um, a marriage license, a, a, a regular license to drive, anything you want, you have to go to your enemy to get it. That's our curse because we didn't want to follow God's laws. Right. All right? Give me the one where it says, uh, uh, taking away. Yeah, go ahead. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. And read that again. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. You see that now, right? Did that happen to anybody else except for us? All these curses only apply to you. That's why this is you in the Bible. Bring it out. This is your book. You should be, you should be running to read this. This is you. That's right. This don't, this don't belong to nobody else. God made it special for you. Now we forgot this in slavery. Give me Jeremiah 17 and 4. Bring it out. We forgot this in slavery, but the, the Most High has given us the knowledge to come back to it. He's never going to forsake us. Yeah, yeah go ahead. That's because the white man taught us the Bible. All right. All right. Go, read 17 to 4. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 17, verse 4. Now, before this happened, we everybody we knew who we were. We knew we were the, the tribe of Israel. All right. We've been went into many captivities before this one. We knew that we was Israel, but this was gonna to happen to us. So why is it the tribe of Israel? Why is it Israel? Israel is a country of uh, so that's no. like homeland. Uh, Israel, Israel it just it was just named a state recently. That's Israel was always a people. Right. It was never just a, a, a land mass. No, right. it was right. always a people first. And thou, even thyself, shall discontinue from thine heritage. So what the prophet Jeremiah is telling us, he's prophesying us that. He's going to discontinue from his heritage, meaning us. We're going to go into a captivity that's going to be so bad, we're going to lose all of our knowledge of all of our high holy days, our customs, the way we eat, the way we do things, the way we uh, interact with each other. We're going to lose all that in this captivity that we're talking about. That I gave thee, and I will cause thee to serve thine enemies. He said we're going to serve our enemies again. Who's our enemies? Hey, sis, come over here real quick. I got to show you something. The white man, right? So that's why we don't know, we don't know who we are and the white man had to teach us, he taught us the Bible saying that God loves everybody. Give me Matthew 15, 24. Because the, the, the Most High doesn't love everybody. He sent Christ to tell you that, all right? Everybody thinks that Christ is gonna come back to give everybody hugs and kisses and, and take everybody up into the sky. We're gonna live in this, this big pearly, this big pearly mansion, white, white gates with golden gates and stuff. It's not gonna happen, it's not in the Bible, all right? 
The book of Matthews, chapter 15, verse 24. But he answered and said, I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. This is Christ speaking. Read it again. But he answered and said, I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Who was Christ sent for? Read it again. The house of who? But I but he answered and said, I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Where did you get everybody from? Where, where did you hear the uh the lost sheep of the house of the Chinese or anybody or any other nation? You didn't hear that. He's only talking about these people right here. Right, right. You never heard anything else. Christ came to speak the Most High's word. Give me Malachi 3 and 6. Because everybody thinks that the Most High God said that he, don't, that he doesn't deal with the other nations, but then Christ comes and then changes his message. But you just heard the brother point out that the Most High is over Christ. So why would Christ, how could Christ change the message that the Most High sent him? If God didn't deal with every other nation before, why? When Christ comes on the scene, it changes. You've been taught wrong, bro. I, right, can, right. I, listen, I can understand why people look at the Bible and they're like, man, I don't want to hear that Bible, man. Because you've been in Christianity for too long. They taught you everything wrong. They taught you that you, that you had to tithe, you to pay money, 10% of your earnings to the church, to the pastor. That's not in the Bible, bro. Right. Nowhere in it. That's the book of Malachi, chapter 3, verse 6. For I am the Lord, I change not. The Lord said he doesn't change. That's right. So why would his message change? He wouldn't send Christ, which is under him, to change his message. That would be confusion. Right. You just read the order. Go back to the order, 1 Corinthians. Um, Bring let, it up. Let, let's go back to the order just to refresh you. Because it's God, Christ, man, and then the woman, right? So how could Christ, being under God, change what the Most High said? From the beginning, it's all from the beginning. You're his special people all through and through. Right. Nobody else. Right. The book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 11, verse 3. But I would have you know that the head of every man is Christ. You know, the head of the man is Christ. Our head is Christ. And the head of the woman is the man. And the head of Christ. The head of Christ, what we just talked about, is God. So how could Christ change his message? Don't believe what everybody's telling you because they're not coming out this book. Do you have a Bible at home? Please you don't got a phone, right? Do whatever you got to do. I might just give you my Bible. I want you to go home and look at it. Look at it for yourself. Don't just believe what I'm saying. But don't, don't, read it. There you go. Read it. Everything we're saying is there's a bunch of scriptures on that file we gave you. Read it for yourself. We're not asking you. We're not asking you just to believe what we say. We would be wrong in doing that. The Most High is calling you right now. There's a reason you're standing here. That's right. There, you just didn't walk by here and we up here for no reason. Right. We're never. We're, we're barely in Richmond. This is. This is like. This is rare. There's a reason why you walk past us when we set up. This message is for you, bro. It's to better your life. All these brothers around here used to be in gangs, used to be whoremongers, used to be uh, liars, thieves, whatever you want. The worst of the worst is st was, was standing around you. But you know what we did? The Lord called out to us. We hearkened to the voice of the Lord, right. to this Bible. It cleaned us up. Right. Now we're married men. We marry our wives, well, one wife. We all have one wife. That's right. We don't deal with multiple wives, right. but one wife, and we raise up our children according to the Bible. That's it's right. order, all right? Not only that, but we don't steal. I can comfortably go around my brothers, leave my wallet laying around with a lot of money. I feel comfortable that nothing's going to happen. My money's going to be there, and if I do leave it, my brother's going to call me, hey, bro, you left your wallet? Let me find a way to get it to you. Just last, just this week, the same thing that happened to my brother. I had to get him his stuff. No problems. Right. Can you do that with anybody or just uh, any other... And y'all hear that? Y'all listening? Can you do that with just any random random black person around here? No, because you don't have a trust issue because we hate ourselves because of that. We've been taught that that's God. We've been taught that the white people, we should, we should follow what they do. And to hate that man, to hate the black people, to hate yourself. Do you understand the, the laws of the Bible? Give me uh, Leviticus uh, 1917. The laws of this Bible hold me to a standard. I can't treat you a different way than what I want to be treated. All right. If I don't like being hit, if I don't like being things taken from me, I can't do it to you. Because if I do, I hate you and I hate myself even more. Right. right. I'm going to suffer the judgment for that. The book of Leviticus, chapter 19, verse 17. Thou shalt not hate thy 
my brother in thine heart. That's a commandment from the Lord thy God to Israel. We're not talking about nobody else. We're not dealing with them. He's talking to us. Me and you, bro. He's telling me, I can't hate you. I can't steal from you. All right? I'm not supposed to go and, and sleep with your girl or do something to your kid. Right. I can't do that. That's an order from God. That's what cleans us up. These laws cleans us up to be better people. All right? Keep going. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor. If you saw me doing something wrong and you knew it could get me in trouble, what are you supposed to do? You're supposed to tell me, hey, bro, don't do that. You know better. That's what keeps us, that's what builds a nation. Look, look around this. Look around here. Do you think we're building a nation around here? Every man for himself out here right now. Every man for himself. We're in the city of Richmond. I know how bad it is. I'm from around here. I know how bad it is around here. It's not supposed to be like that. Yeah, Doggy dog. Doggy dog world, there you go. Give me all, all Deuteronomy 28. So what I'm saying is, bro, you have to come back to the laws of God. This is the only thing that's going to save us. We tried everything else. Yeah, all right? Hey, what's the one about um the gospel shall be preached um around the world well, to the end? To what? Matthew 24. Yes. Matthew what? Matthew 24. Matthew 24. 13. 13. Matthew 24, 13. I'm going to let you know this, bro. Have you heard? You've heard about Christianity. You've been in the church, right? You know that. You've heard about what? You never been to church? Well, all praises. But you know what they teach? They teach that God loves everybody, which is not true. We can further prove that if you want to. You got it? The book of Matthews, chapter 24, verse 13. Check it out. But he that shall endure until the end, the same shall be saved. Are you going? But, oh, excuse me. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world so it says this gospel is going to be preached in all the world it's christianity in all the nations in every part of the world it's you sure how did how did the white people conquer everything with christianity okay. where they sign that they put the cross up to you and said you either going to worship christ or christ that, that's it right there look at that you're either going to worship all uh, the white jesus or you're going to die that's how they conquer this world all right so christianity is already in all parts of the world Muslim, the uh, what's it that Islamic faith is in all parts of the world. Those are the top two religions. Keep reading it. Read from the top. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come. And then shall the end come when that gospel is preached in every nation. When everybody knows about that, that's when Christ is coming back. Has Christ came back yet? So Christianity and Muslim and any other, yes sir, any other false religions have been preached already. Christ hasn't came back. Have you ever heard this before? Have you ever heard that God doesn't love everybody? That we should only take care of ourselves, that we should love each other? You never heard that, right? This is the true gospel, brother. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Daniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, 
Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.